Now then, Bushman here and Blue is just there. So tonight, and it is the night, uh, we are going to tackle a challenging adventure which is striding edge in the dark. And the reason I'm doing this is um, because I want to test out this head torch which is the Phoenix HM65R head torch. Um, I've used it quite a few times already and I want to test it out properly because you get all these people doing these reviews just sat at home and everything and don't actually use them so this is going to be a proper showcase of that torch. Um, at the same time I've been uh, given another Phoenix one, it comes in this pouch here and this is like a tactical torch. Um, this is super bright, I mean the head torch is awesome but this is uh, another level but this is the Phoenix TK35UE V2 it needs that length body on it just so you can actually um, write all the name of it, it's that long. But um, yeah, it just fits in your hand. A tactical torch, the class it has, but um, it's great for any sort of a search and rescue sort of stuff because it's so bright, it's ridiculously bright this thing. Um, it's got strobe and all sorts on it. But anyway, I'm going to test these two out um, and hopefully get up in a long striding edge onto the top of Helvellyn and then at that point I'm going to decide whether to head back down Swirrell Edge and camp at um, red tan or continue somewhere else and just find somewhere on the tops just to pitch a tent but either way it's all about testing these torches out it's a cold one um, it's been um, very clear today so the actual temperature has been uh, sort of dropping down to about three degrees when I set off and then uh, <laughs> it blew and then <laughs> get up then get down go on and then um, uh, yeah, as I've sort of uh, come up the uh, mountain, the temperature's dropping and dropping and dropping and uh, it's actually below freezing now because the grass, I've done a bit of a grass test and it's all uh, getting a bit spiky and frozen, so it is going to be a cold one. Anyway, we will uh, crack on and get up there and then see how these torches fare in this uh, darkness. Let's go. Good boy, get on then, come on. Get on. Come on, come on. Wow. So I laid that torch on the ground then and shone it up onto all that rock set just to see how well it lit it all up. And I'll tell you what, it's like having a car light. It's unbelievable. Um, walking up there it was just like daylight really. Uh, obviously having the head torch as well, but just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So I've got no worries whatsoever going along this striding edge and this is the start of it now. Um, so from here it gets more technical and obviously I need to be more careful as well with that. Um, blue's totally sound, you can sort of see very well anyway. The moon's come fully out now so it's nice and bright. Um, but I'll keep him close to me anyway just to make sure that he's okay. There's one section on Striding Edge, uh, it's about two thirds of the way through which is like a little gully that you have to climb down. Um, there is a way round that um, on the left hand side so what I'm going to do is just skip that bit out because I don't want, really want to risk anything when I'm up here on my own. But um, anyway, awesome. I've noticed as well, there's two people camping down at um, Red Town and there's one person camping on this side. Um, so that's the lights that I've seen so far. But it's brilliant to have this place to yourself because there's normally like quite a lot of people up here. The hordes do come. Um, so this is awesome, absolutely awesome. Anyway, from me and this beautiful dog, who just wants some attention. <laughs> Let's get on with it, eh? And there's Bluey Dog just waiting. This torch is brilliant, look at this. Right, let's bash on.
Yeah, blue dog. Good boy. All right, stand. So this is the torch on its own. So just looking here, this little uh, peak there is about 15 meters away. And there's another one just behind it there, probably say 40 meters. And then in the distance there, that's gotta be a good 100 meters I say away, that one. And even beyond that, there's just slightly showing one over there. And the camera won't pick it up because obviously it's not very good for it, but I mean, that's just awesome. Absolutely awesome. So we're just skipping round the side path, which misses out the gully, which is up on all this section. So we just have to continue around the side. I can see blue in the distance there, just because he's got a slight reflective band on his bag. He's totally happy, can see totally well, no, no issues whatsoever. He's loving it. So this is the gully that we've skipped around just purely because it's um, it's just a bit dangerous to be doing on my own um, at night. The rest of this, honestly, it's been just like it's daytime. Seriously, there's not much effort with it at all. So I've not had any issues with it, but um, this is the actual gully that we've just come round. And if you can see that, and Blue was, uh, he's actually come down that gully about four or five times on his own, unaided. And it's a right scramble to get up and down. People struggle um, quite a lot with that bit. What an amazing night. It is just so tranquil. There's like not a sound. Normally, like you come up here during the day and there's just people talking. You can hear people all over. And just to have all this to myself, honestly, is just amazing. Just calm and, you know, there's just me, Blue and the moon and that's pretty much it. So love it. Absolutely love this. And this has been one of my... um um boxes that i wanted to tick you know because i've done striding edge like so many times and i love it absolutely favorite walk really um and then down swirl but i wanted to do it at night and it's always been in my mind to do it so i'm really really glad that i'm taking on this challenge and just uh just doing this on on this beautiful night honestly i love it <laughs> all right blue you're gonna climb go on climb Good boy. All right, stand there, stand. Good boy, wait there, wait. Well, that is striding edge done. Uh, we took it very steadily, uh, obviously for safety. Uh, there was no issues whatsoever though. There's a couple of times I just had to leapfrog the dog and just get him to follow me in certain directions but absolutely fine he's a he's a, he's a master at these things he really is anyway so we're stood at the bottom now of the final scramble which goes up to the top of Helvellyn so from here um it's not as technical but it is pretty steep so let's bash on up there and get to the summit eh and then we'll decide what we're going to do from there right i've decided to uh pitch up just near the summit of Helvellyn. Um, on the way up, there's only a few little spots really that are half decent to actually pitch a tent here because it's so rocky. So it won't take a peg too easily, but the best thing about it is um, tonight there's hardly any wind, so it should be fine anyway. So I'm not gonna get to the summit now. I'm gonna just uh, pitch up, 
get inside this tent and get out this sort of a uh, dampness because it's definitely just starting now um, you can still see the uh, moon but it's um, definitely got a lot of uh, sort of cloud cover coming over so anyway let's get this tent up eh so I've just got the tent up and within seconds there's moisture all over it we are in and snug I've made blue a nest at the bottom of the tent and I'm just sat up against my chair here. We're in the Lanshan 2 Pro tent. There's a link in the description. So if you want to uh, check this tent out, go look at that. Um, it's awesome bit of kit. I really enjoy this tent, to be honest. And it's just spacious. There's just so much uh, room in here to play and mess about. So I've got the dog in, I'm in a normal kit within the tent. So there's two vestibules either side either, uh, which <laughs> uh, are not being used currently. Oh no, my boots are in one side, that's it. Anyway, I'm on my Uber Light by Thermarest Neo Air Uber Light, it is, um, sleeping mat. It's going to get to freezing tonight, and I just want to test this out to make sure that it's um, capable at about these sorts of conditions. Um, I will test it probably on a really cold night over winter. I might try to get it down to sort of minus five, minus six, and see how it performs. Um, because you just need to know, you know, how well these things work. Because otherwise you, you don't want to get caught out, that's all. Anyway, it's time for some dinner. And I am having meatballs and pasta. So, I'm going to bulk this out with... Look what my mum's found me. Normally you get these sort of rice things to add to things. Um, this is a soft pasta. Which is good, because obviously pasta and pasta marry up well together. Um, so I'm going to try mix this in with this and just sling it all in a pan and then see what happens. It looks to me as if it's going to be gorgeous. And I'm starving because it's well after nine o'clock now. We set off late and obviously we took our time um, coming along striding edge just uh, every foot. We just made sure they were, we were placing it properly and uh, that we were safe all the way, that's all. Anyway, let's get this on, get the uh, old pan on. So there we go, we've got Blue in his little nest at the bottom of the tent. And I'm just going to um, sort myself out with this food. So, I like this gas burner. I'll get this pasta on. Yum. That pre-cooked pasta is really good to add. because It's got some sauce in with it anyway, so just to um, add to something that's already a pasta-based one is really, really nice. So yeah, thanks to my mum for that one because she found it for me. So yeah, I will definitely be using that one again. Anyway, I'm going to get stuck into this, so leave me. Bye. So the point of tonight's exercise was to test out these two torches, both made by Phoenix. The first one being this head torch is the HM65R. I'll put it in the corner now. And this thing is brilliant. I've got to say, I will never need a head torch better than this. It's so bright. Um, it's got different brightness settings as well. There's four different settings for each bulb. One of the bulbs is more of a general sort of a glow light, I would say, which you'd use more around camp. And the other one's more of a directional light, so you can use that for um, running, walking, cycling, whatever, because it obviously throws out the light in front of you a bit further. I walked up Helvellyn tonight, and I just had it on the lowest bright uh, brightness setting, and for 80% of it, I would say. And then for all of Striding Edge, I just put it onto the second setting, um, which was well bright enough for doing all those scrambles, not a problem whatsoever. Um, if you want to see a bit further, then obviously there's two more settings after that, which you can just use for um, just seeing into the distance a bit more. Um, but honestly, it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, the battery life on it's pretty awesome. Um, you know, on the brightest setting, obviously any bulb will um, take the battery power quite quickly. Um, but I do think it's it, well. I'll put it there now. That's how long it lasts on the brightest setting, and on the uh, lowest setting which I walked up here uh, with which to be honest I don't think on non-technical ground you'd ever need more than the lowest setting but that lasts this long 
pretty good, hey? Anyway, moving on from this one. Absolutely awesome, that thing. But this one is mega. <laughs> it comes in its own little um, pouch. So it's like a belt loop. And um, what you can do is um, attach it to your bag as well. Because it's more of the, I think it's the, is it the Molly system, I think, um, of attachment. Anyway, so get that on your belt. It's also got a dangler, so you can actually clip it on with a, a dangler from your belt as well. And we'll just open this up. And this torch is the Phoenix TK35UEV2. It's the second version of this um, torch. The first version was pretty good, um, apparently, but this has just um, outdone it, but in several ways. It, it just lasts longer, the battery, and it's brighter and everything. Um, Honestly, as you can see from what uh, I've done so far, coming up uh, Striding Edge, I've just put this on a couple of times and the brightness is just incredible. So this is called a tactical torch. And the reason is it's used by the military and obviously it's a great one for search and rescue as well. I've got to say, there's no other word for it. It's mega, it really is. Um, it fits in your hand really well. You can see it's actually fairly small. Um, the brightness for this, for the size of it, I think is incredible. Uh, it comes with a belt clip, so you can just clip that onto the top of your trousers or onto your belt. And also a lanyard as well, so you can put it on your wrist and that will obviously tighten up onto your wrist as well, which is good, so you won't drop it and lose it. Uh, it's fully waterproof. Um, I can't remember, I think to a couple of metres or something. Um, it lasts on the, the lowest brightness for, I think... And on the brightest setting, obviously, that will drain the battery quite quickly because <laughs> the brightness of it is just ridiculous. I'll show you how it works. There's three different um, settings here. So you've got like this little toggle thing that just sort of comes around like that. So if I turn it all one way, that is in the lock position. So if I press the on button now, nothing happens. So that is if you are putting it in your bag and you don't want it to obviously turn on accidentally you can put it in that position and then uh, it won't sort of drain the battery without you knowing so if I slide this into the middle now and then all I'll do is I'll turn it on and it'll come on at the lowest setting there so that's the lowest brightness and then all I'll do is I'll cycle through those and you can just see how bright it actually does get I'll drop that back down to the lowest one and then that's brilliant it remembers as well where you were last time so when you turn it back on so if I just now click it to a brighter one and then uh, turn it off and back on again it comes back on the same one so I'm just gonna click this onto the final setting and this is the uh, tactical setting I would say so as soon as you press the button now, it will go straight to the brightest it can go. And the point of that is you can use that to dis disorientate people. Um, if this is being shone into your eyes, you won't be able to see a thing. You will honestly not be able to do anything. Um, and it goes one step further than that as well, um, which is a strobe. So again, if you shone this at somebody, you might not be able to pick the strobe up on this camera, but instantly you're just not going to have a clue what's going on you will not be able to see anything um because it, it seriously would blind you this thing um so yeah i i think i'll be using this you know there'll be that ninja killer squirrel coming i'll be like bam or maybe you know i'll be out on the moors and that sheep comes towards me wanting to eat me and i'll be like bam so yeah definitely an awesome piece of kit the only honestly word for this thing is mega. I honestly love it. I just love it. They've both done a fantastic job getting up this mountain tonight. And um, I've got to say, I'm just so impressed by both of them. So anyway, it is time for me to get to sleep. It's pretty late now. Obviously, I've set off late. I've had dinner late. I've had tea late. Everything. So it is time to lay this lug. The dog is pretty much asleep already, I would say, and um, it's going to take me about two minutes and I'll be asleep. Anyway, we'll see you in the morning.
morning flowers well what a morning to wake up it is definitely a new day ah a very very happy man you just cannot beat it you can't beat this the summit of Helvellyn. and just coming down from there we've got um swirl edge on that side we've got casty cam in the background there or camped on there before then looking down to uh, red town in the bottom it's always darker there which isn't the best in the morning really and then this is striding edge which i came across last night in the dark ah stunning eh just stunning it's definitely a new day right let's get this tent put away Well, I'll tell you what, that takes no time at all. Absolute brilliant tent. Lanshan 2 Pro. Check it out in the description. Right, there we go then. Leave no trace. Let's get ourselves back down. Striding edge. Come on, Bluey. It's not actually quite that way, it's more that way, but um, I just thought it looked good going into the sun. Anyway, we're off now, this time properly. Blue, left. Well, there we go. That is Striding Edge. So I'm going to show you what it looks like in the daytime if you've not seen it before because obviously last night you only got a tiny little taste of it with the uh, lights that I was using but look at it it is just amazing you'll be able to see sort of uh, some of the technical sections with it and everything so let's get down there and uh, get it filmed eh players brilliant eh so I've just done the first scramble coming down here which is up there you can see a few people just dotted making their way up but um, it's fairly straightforward that one but you just need to take a bit of care but it does get a little bit worse as we come down here the dog's already down somewhere he's made it on his own to the gully that I missed out last night so I'll show you this in the daytime and this is exactly why I didn't want to do it in the dark so here we go so you climb from uh, up in this top section down all this it's actually not that bad to be honest but I didn't want to risk anything last night right time to attempt it now though
Stan. Good boy, Stan. dog eh what a dog just get him up and make sure he's safe and then uh, I'm gonna do it for the last time plenty of really good handholds here so it's not too bad at all you just have to be a little bit careful oh that's good <laughs> blues found his way back down around the other way Anyway, I'll uh, call him round the other direction. Whoa. Well, I said in one of my other videos, but it is honestly my favorite walk this. I just love striding edge and then um, walking up to the top of Helvellyn, which is just up there, and then dropping back down Swirrell Edge and then just coming down to the town. It's honestly just an amazing walk. 
I say walk, there is a bit of scrambling to do as well, but it is just it's special, it really is special because the views all around, especially on this uh striding edge, it's just honestly beautiful. You get to see for miles and just such amazing scenery. I mean look at this. This is the highest point of it, and just all the way around. And you can just see round here, these clouds are just rolling down that hill there. Well, mountain would say, but stunning. Just stunning. Hey, this is what it's all about. Get yourselves outside, eh? So there we go, that is Striding Edge. Completed twice in 24 hours, which is pretty awesome. And doing it in the dark was absolutely brilliant. I am definitely one of my life challenges that, that I wanted to do and I've succeeded and I really enjoyed it so anyway worth uh, checking this place out because it is honestly an epic walk um, and it's it's doable by most but you just have to be careful make sure that you're good on your feet that's all uh, because quite a lot of these sections are, are a scramble so just make sure that you do take care if you do come up this way anyway doing it in the dark I've got to say the point was to um, use those two torches and just see how well they perform and do you know what they were both amazing as you can tell from the footage i'm sure but two brilliant torches and they are in the description so if you're interested in them just uh, have a look down below uh, there's a link to it and the seller is a uk seller as well which is really good um and also any of my other kit that i use whatever i've got is pretty much down there in the description so if you want to just have a look you might be able to find a link to it and then uh, see what you think Anyway, it is time for me to get on. If you like the video, give it a big fat thumbs up and um, we will uh, see you on another adventure. Take care then guys, see you soon.